the Packers. I mean, they didn't take T.J. Watt. They didn't take a lot of my favorite former Badgers that I watched up close and personal. I'm thinking this guy's going to have a great NFL career on Sundays. And the Packers never seem to grab a Badger. Now, I see A.J. Dillon is apparently coming back into the fold uh, with a reduced contract, very uh, Packer club favorable contract. But Braylon Allen would look damn good in the green and gold. What do you think, Mike? As the number three? Or as the number two? As part of the stable. Who knows? As part of the stable. Yeah. You know, whoever's your hot back, you go with that guy today. Let's think about this. Because they just pulled off this deal. And, you know, let's talk about this Aaron Jones thing. Why yeah. Aaron Jones isn't there? Yeah. Um, seven years with the Packers. Came in as a fifth-round pick. Worked his tail off. And then last season, um, that first game against the Bears, ran in that touchdown down at Soldier Field about 35 yards, grabbed the back of his leg when he got in the end zone. Yeah. Hamstring. And in the locker room down in Chicago, he said, I, I think I just tweaked it. Well, he missed like the next five or six games. Then later gets carted off the field with a knee injury, tears in his eyes thinking, you know, maybe not only his season, but his career could be over. Turned out to be an MCL, not an ACL. Came back and pretty much led the Packers into the playoffs with that fast burst that he had uh, and coming out of the backfield. I remember being down in Dallas for that playoff game against the Cowboys Micah Parsons is that outstanding mm -hmm. pass rusher on the Cowboys defense. And he was he was going to drill Jordan Love. He beat Zach Tom at right tackle. This Cowboys pass rusher is headed right for Jordan Love. And who got in the way? Aaron Jones blocked him. So not only a great running back, but a good blocker. Last week, Drew Rosenhaus, the famous agent. He's, he's a ball buster. He is. He came in and said, okay, our guy, my client, took a pay cut last year, $11 million. So we're not going to do that this year. Russ Ball, the finance director for the Packers, said, well, as a matter of fact, we were thinking more like $6 million this year. Yeah. Outrageous. Outrageous. And by the end of the week, they weren't going to budge. And then, then the Packers say, told ESPN, we told them we're going to move on if you don't if you don't come down to six. Uh, because he's 29 years old. He'll be 30 in the in the season. I know, but it's still somewhat disrespectful to the chemistry of the team, is it not? When you got a guy like Aaron Jones who took you, I mean, that team was different with him in the backfield. They it were. was not the same team until he came back. And his dynamic play, I think, opened up Jordan Love and made him a better quarterback. How do you disrespect your guy like that? And, and I can tell you, too, since he was a rookie, Aaron Jones is one of the smartest running backs I've ever I ever interviewed. You know, you talked to him about, hey, what happened on that touchdown? This happened in a preseason game in his rookie season. And he told me, player by player, left to right, well, I saw the end do this. I saw the linebacker do that. I saw the safety shift over here. Then our guy moved over here. So I knew that that hole would probably be open instead of the one that they called it, that Aaron Rodgers called in the huddle. I mean, he's that smart of a guy, of a football player. He sees the field that well. Anyway, the talks broke down last weekend. And the Packers, true to their word, they went to their personnel board and said, okay, who else is out there? And somehow they talk Josh Jacobs, the lead running back for the Raiders, who's got a burst. There's a lot of him looks like Aaron Jones, only he's 26 years old. Less wear and tear on the body. And he agreed to a deal. Now, it's four years and $48 million. And you know these NFL contracts. It's like, yeah, take that and cut it in half, really. We'll see. Because we see how much is guaranteed, and they'll want to restructure exactly. in a year or two if, exactly. if if the cap requires. Well, let's talk about age then. The Braylon Allen has been famous for being a young guy performing like a grown man from age seventeen on. He came to the Badgers, played, you know, reclassified to play as a freshman, and you know they were going to bring him in as a safety. So today, to it got a Fond du Lac, right? Yeah, yeah. Today. Uh, I got a chance to talk to Braylon Allen. He kind of recognized me from the combine. And there's across the way is Brian Gutekinds and his top scout, Milt, from the uh, the scouting department of the Packers. I said, hey, so did you get a chance to talk to Goody? No. They didn't even talk to the guy. No. You know who they did talk to? The center, Tanner Borolini. Mm. Typical Packers. They're out looking for linemen. They know what they're doing at running back. The NFL has put a lot less premium on the running back of late. And they have. It, they, they've sort of de-emphasized. They, they seemingly think, you know, these are replaceable parts. They always had a very short 
shelf life. Three, four years, the average NFL that's, that's it. running back. Yeah. And, I mean, it's a brutal sport. These guys are taking a beating. Yeah. Um, does that benefit a squad? I mean, the fact that Braylon Allen is 20 years old, he, he doesn't have a lot of rough miles on him yet, yet, although he did play in the Big Ten. I got to believe that the Packers still have a philosophy that they had the year that they won the Super Bowl and they got so far into the season and then, okay, let's activate the rookie, James Starks. And he took them all the way to the end zone and beat the Steelers for, you know, in a Super Bowl. I think that's that when you talk about the value of the position, that's probably where they're at.